This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, the Data Tools Unit, Lesson 8, Creating JavaScript Objects Puzzle 4. Let's see what we got. Creating Objects with Dot Notation. We've used Dot Notation to reference values in an object, but you can also use Dot Notation to set the values in an object. Yes, you can. The example below shows you shows how you might use the ability to build an object. Uh, so this is the declaring of a student object, right? Variable student1 is now an object because it's curly brackets. An array is uh, the square brackets. This is an object. Uh, student1.name, so this is a property. It is a variable for the student1 object. So student.name equals Maya. Student1.grade equals 11. Student one on time to class, I appreciate that as a teacher, true. So those are all properties that belong to the student object. Uh, they're contained within it. This pattern works because setting the value of a new property will automatically add it to the object. This will typically be our preferred way of creating and referencing objects. There's alternative ways that you can dive into. Oh yeah, they show you here. Um, but let's stick with what we're learning right now, and you'll definitely encounter those other ways at some point. Starter code is provided, which creates several student objects using the pattern shown above. The last object is currently empty. Oh no, use the pattern shown above to complete the final student object for yourself. Make sure your object has the same property names as the other four. Run the program and display the contents. All right, so let's go over what they're doing. Um, well, we kind of already did, honestly. This is the creation of an object, okay? So right here, student3 object. Now we make a variable that is contained within our student3 object. So student3.name. When we want it to print student3's name, we can say student.3.name and it will print it. It ties all of this information together in a nice little package. And you can actually iterate through this, but we'll get into that later. So we're just going to create a new, um, well, they have the declaration of the object. So it looks like we need four different properties to make. I'm going to just grab these. Whoops. Okay. And then, so student five, well, I'm going to be student five dot name just like above and hi my name is Kurt oh if you're my student my name is Mr. Kaiser <laughs> um okay now student five dot grade uh gosh what should I say well I'm I'm teaching eighth grade right now so how about that and then student five dot on time to class student five dot on time to class uh that's a true don't be late <laughs> i'm gonna get rid of that okay so now we want to be able to print these out so i can grab council log or i can just type it honestly so council.log and I should be more careful with my language I didn't mean print out I meant log to council right to push the text out to the council log uh, student two and this is going to print out the entire object okay we're asking for all of it we're not just going to print out a piece like name three um I should have already done it this way but I'm just going to copy and paste and three four five and let's try it out but ah so hopefully if you did it right you got all this right so our name and then uh notice it's all in quotes so these are strings uh the name is the key the value is is well kurt grade i said eight on time to class i said true cool I'm excited to see what we're going to be doing next. Let's uh, keep going.